What is up my fellow mobile gamers? In today's video, we are going over a beginner's guide to this brand new game. And uh, before we jump into it though, there may be more than one part. So this mo this right now is part one and uh, we'll, we'll go on because there's just a lot of information to cover. But I did create a guild. So if you would like to join my guild, please do so. It is called Alpha One. Brand new guild. I am very lonely. As you can see, I am the only person in the guild right now. <laughs> the only thing that is, that stinks is like you can only have 20 people. I was trying to get into guilds, but like all the guilds were filled. So I had to just create my own new guild. So if you want to join me, this is it, Alpha 1. And uh, you will need to be in my server, I believe. So let me show you. I am in my server right here. I am in AA Lapidus. So if you want to, if you're brand new to the game, you want to join, this is my server. You could join my guild for free. Anyone is welcome. You don't have to be a hardcore player or a big spender. Uh, another thing is they have some special invitation bonuses, right? To events. And we are going to go to recruit friends. So uh, this is my invitation code. I will have it down below in the description box. I will have it also in the comment section. What you're going to do is you're going to take this code, this is my specific invitation code, and you're going to, when you get into the game, you're going to go over to events, click events, you're going to go over to where it says binding reward, which has like the two like hands together, and this is where you're going to enter my invitation code. When you enter my code, you will get all these extra bonuses, right? So when you reach level 20, you'll get this so on and so forth. So basically, as you play the game and level up, you will get a ton of bonuses, which is really, really good. I also do not have an invitation code. So the first person, you know, who wants to leave their invitation code down below in the comment section, I will activate your code so that I can get these bonuses. But uh, other than that, that's, that's, you know, some pretty cool little things. All right, now we're going to go over to like my beginner's guide, my tips and tricks if you're new to the game, right? So my number one first thing that's like so important is when you first log into the game, you should always make sure you have something, uh, con some type of construction going on in your city before you do anything else. So before you go and you do your login bonuses or you check out like the events or anything else, uh, you know, quests, you go and do dungeon runs. And before you literally do anything, the very first thing you should do is make sure you have something building, right? So right now I have my city wall right now. We're constructing my city wall. I can speed it up, so on and so forth. This is very important because while this is working, you know, and the time is ticking down, then you can be doing other stuff. You don't want to log into the game and you have a free construction and you could be working on something and you go and you do, you know, like 20 minutes worth of other things and then you start construction because that's 20 minutes worth of construction that you missed out on if you would have just started as soon as you open the game. As soon as you start the game, as soon as you open the game for your day and you start to play, make sure you have some type of construction going. It's so important. You don't want to miss out on that time. Now, another thing that you want to do is when you go and you start doing your dungeon runs, you will get to specific parts where it will say you need to be a certain level in order to pretty much go any further, right? So this part right here, it said I couldn't go any further because I needed to be level 27. I reached level 27, so now I can go into the next area. Now, another thing you're going to be like, okay, well, how do I level up? You know, what's the fastest way to level up, so to speak? Um, there isn't anything in particular that, that, you know, a fast way. Pretty much just playing the game is going to, you know, level you up. That's all I can really suggest is just play the game as much as you can and you'll just naturally level up. From doing dungeon runs, you know, dungeon runs you will level up. Um, construction, build up your kingdom is very important. And uh, another thing is when you go into squads, right, you're going to go into squads and this is very, very easy. Like if you ever get stuck to a point in the dungeons where you can't really go any further and you kind of like don't know what else to do, one thing that you can work on, which is really fast and it gives you experience points is you're going to want to do like sweeps of other levels that you've already completed. 
So you click on a character, right? And you go to rank, rank right here. And you know, it'll show you like them different materials that you need in order to rank them up. Now, some of them will be like, um, if you look at this guy, I cannot like squad rank him up because he needs to be level 28. So I can't get them up anymore. But the other ones you can still work on and get the materials. So these ones I already have. So I'm just gonna hit quick inlay and it's just gonna put these in there. Um, and then I could do it. Um, what about, let me find one who I don't have. Okay, so see the little plus icon? I do not have the materials for him. So we're gonna click the plus icon. And this is where you can do your sweeps or your AKA raids is what this says. And there's two different ones, okay? So it shows you the materials that you need for this one. So it says zero out of seven, we need these T3 Firestone Frags, okay? We have zero out of seven. You can raid it once. So if we click raid once, it will basically raid at one time, run through, and it uses your energy, okay? And uh, sometimes you will not get the item that you need. So as you can see, the raid target is these things. This is what we want. This is what we're trying to get. But you're not always going to get that from like a specific place. It's, it's, sometimes it's a random drop. So sometimes you'll do it and you won't come up. So you can just hit confirm or you can raid it again. And again, it'll use six energy. Again, though, if you want to save yourself some clicks, and you're getting XP, by the way. Every time you raid, you're getting XP. So this is what is a great way to get XP to level up your account if you are stuck. So the raids are perfect for this. If you want to do it really quick and you just want to get it instantly, right? Like, okay, I have one of seven. I don't want to sit here and keep clicking raid. We'll just click quick raid. And what it does is it will keep raiding until it gets the target amount that you need. So as you can see, it took six raids to get that. And as you can see, we also upgraded our account level because we got a ton of XP from doing that. So we are now Lord level 28. Our energy recovery is now 635. And as you can see, we unlocked a bunch of new things. We have deployed squads plus one, so we can now put another person in the battlefield. We have the endless tower, which is unlocked. We have the soul heart, which is also unlocked. So we unlocked a ton of new stuffs. Start a new game of endless tower. So as you can see, we'll have to go over here. And Endless Tower is pretty cool. So click on the avatar to view the monster information, challenge, and so on and so forth. So this is gonna have to this is gonna have to run through it because it's like a demoing. Okay, but as we're going through this, another thing I just want to talk about real quick is your character level um, goes hand in hand with your account level. So as you can see, we just leveled up and our account level is now 28. This now means that our character's max level is 28, so we cannot level them up any higher than 28. So whatever, their, uh, whatever your account level is, that is your max level your heroes can be at. So that is very important. You wanna level up your account as fast as possible, as high as possible, so that you can get those rewards and you know increase your characters and make them stronger. So we're gonna go over here and what else is it saying? Okay, we have souls. So we just unlocked souls. So this is a whole nother thing we unlocked. Again, there's still a lot of stuff to cover in this. I don't wanna go over this too much. This is kind of just sidetracking me as I was trying to talk about the raids and so to speak. So yeah, the raids though, that's that's one way to easily, easily, um, get the stuff that you need and, and you know get tons of xp quick raids now you need to be careful with the quick raids though because it does like use a lot of energy right because it's literally going to keep doing these raids until it gets you the necessary requirements of materials needed so that's one thing to keep in mind if you're low on energy you want to be mindful of your energy then maybe you would want to do raid by one but in all other instances you would just want to do quick raid it's a lot faster Right, so now if we go back to, uh, where is it? Our main heroes, yeah. So right now we don't have enough XP. Other, otherwise we could get them to 28 and then we could squad rank them up. So that is one thing that's very, very important. Again, you can level up super fast by just raiding other levels. Very, very easy. There is a ton of benefits in this game. I mean, there is a ton of like events and like quests and like there's just so much like free materials and things that the game gives you for doing everything so like just take your time 
as a most important thing is there's a lot going on in this game and uh, new players could get overwhelmed very easily because you know i mean the game does a good a good way of like as you play the game, you know, new features are unlocked as you level up. So you're not going to get hit with everything at once, which is good. But still, though, early on, you'll still, like, as you see, I'm at level 28, and I'm still unlocking new features. And there's still tons and tons of things going on that I have to do. I mean, there's just so much to do in this game. So it's so much to cover. And again, like, this video is already 10 minutes. I don't want to make this too long. This is kind of just, like, part one. Um, beginner's guide just to go over just a few small tips and tricks again we'll do we'll go over like more things like we'll have dedicated videos to every little different part but again i just wanted to get this out there and uh, i love y'all stay happy stay safe hit the subscribe button for more videos for more tips and tricks hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and you got any good information out of it and uh, please join my guild use my invitation code and i'll see y'all in the next video peace